Good morning, Celebration Church. Thank you so much for tuning in with us this morning. Let's go and worship together. And peace like a river, wash over. me in water as deep as the sea and hide me in love your healing embrace oh peace like a river a wash over me as I worship your majesty everybody so glad you joined us this morning for our daily devos we are in the book of Luke chapter 11 if you're reading along with us uh, in our Bible reading plan um, in this chapter uh, the disciples asked Jesus um, Lord teach us to pray they knew that Jesus was a man of prayer they watched him pray they heard him pray they saw the effects of uh, of prayer, what happened when he did pray, that his relationship with the Father was so 
uh, close and intimate and um, that powerful things happened when Jesus prayed. And it was so important to them to learn also how to pray. And so they approached Jesus and they said, Jesus, teach us to pray. And we know one of the prayers, you know, Jesus says, well, pray after this manner, you know, our father in heaven, hallowed be your name. And he goes through this whole, this whole pattern, prayer pattern. And, um, and then he hits this point. Um, he says in verse number nine, and I tell you, when you ask, keep on asking and you'll receive what you ask for. He says, keep on seeking and you'll find, keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks, receives, everyone who seeks, finds, and to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. What Jesus was talking about here is an expectation of um, your prayers answered, an expectation that something was going to happen. He says, don't just knock and walk away. Don't just seek and oh, I can't find it and walk away. Don't just ask and, and, and then just walk away. He says, ask an expectation or keep on asking or just keep standing there expectant until you receive it. See, a lot of times we give up too soon. We felt like, man, if we don't get the answer in five minutes, then I'm out of here and God doesn't want me to have it. And I'm just not going to, I'm just not going to ask anymore. When there is a persistent um, expectation that is required to get prayers answered. You know, it kind of reminds me of I think I've told this story before, Randy has uh, our dogs, you know, we have two dogs and, and they have this expectation um, that we're good. They know that we're good, right? They know that we give treats, they know that we give snacks, and they know where they are. They know where they are in the pantry, right? So they'll go and they'll sit in the pantry and they don't have words, right? Dogs can't communicate with words. Oh, they have sound, but they don't have words. And so they will look at you so intently, expecting you to know what they want and giving them what they want. Now there's times where I've given them a treat and it's like, okay, you've had your treat, go somewhere else. Like I'm not giving you another one, but they're persistent. They'll sit there and stare at me waiting for another treat. And I'll tell them, no, go. You already had your treat. No, go. You already had your treat. And those, th those dogs will sit there and wait and look at me waiting, knowing that if they sit there long enough, they'll get another treat. Why? Because they know that I'm good and they know if they expect something good, they get something good. I think we need to approach God like that. Approach God like he's good. Approach God like he wants to give us good things. He says here, ask. Ask and keep on asking. It's not a begging. It's an asking in expectation, knowing that God is good. It's not a knocking, begging. It's a knocking, no, knowing that God will answer. I'm expecting God to answer. If I didn't expect him to answer, I wouldn't stand here knocking. I know God is good. I want to encourage you today. Don't give up. Keep believing. Keep expecting. Keep standing, knowing God is working on your behalf. Favor, increase, healing, wholeness, whatever it is you're believing for, God is pouring out on you today because we're asking, seeking, knocking with expectation. Father, we thank you today for who you are. God, I believe you're a good God, God full of favor. God, I thank you for the good things you're giving to us. Help us not to grow weary in the waiting. God, we expect good things to happen today, and we give you for, thanks for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thanks for joining us today. We'll see you again real soon.